Ashwea wrestles back a small advantage over Smart Impression, trying to challenge. On the far side is Bella Columbia. These three wide across the track, then Byzantine Empress up towards the finish. The odds on favour is beaten here by Bella Columbia, who scores from Ashwea. Ashwea wrestles back a small advantage over Smart Impression, trying to challenge. On the far side is Bella Columbia. These three wide across the track, then Byzantine Empress up towards the finish. The odds on favour is beaten here by Bella Columbia, who scores from Ashwea, making time. Staying on from the back is Apricot Twist ahead of Mickey the Steel. Still in front is Hispanic with Dandyville coming late to challenge. Then don't spoil his sail. Queen Maeve the near side. Hispanic all out from Dandyville. Going to the line. Nothing between them. It is very close. His staying on from the back is Apricot Twist ahead of Mickey the Steel. Still in front is Hispanic with Dandyville coming late to challenge. Then don't spoil his sail. Queen Maeve the near side. Hispanic all out from Dandyville. Going to the line. Nothing between them. It is very close. Hispanic Dandyville, then Queen Maeve, don't spoil his sail, apricot twist. Racing inside the final furlong. Leads a year by a couple of lengths. The not forgotten Roman Harry Lope de Rueda. In the middle of the track is Don Noor, but out in front is Signatory and Connor Stonewalsh. They've flown a winner from not forgotten a year third. Racing inside the final furlong. Leads a year by a couple of lengths. The not forgotten Roman Harry Lope de Rueda. In the middle of the track is Don Noor. But out in front is Signatory and Connor Stonewalsh. They've flown a winner from not forgotten a year third. And Huxley wears down Capulet. No time, no tide in third place. Inside the final furlong, Huxley with rallying on the near side. Capulet is these two to the finish, and it's Capulet edging on close to the line. It's a first half double for Jamie Heffern and Aidan O'Brien. And Huxley wears down Capulet. No time, no tide in third place. Inside the final furlong, Huxley with rallying on the near side. Capulet is these two to the finish, and it's Capulet edging on close to the line. It's a first half double for Jamie Heffern and Aidan O'Brien. Capulet wins on Debo from Huxley, putting well clear of no time, not a time. Maestro stick and it's Pong Po just getting the upper hand from Geological on the far side. A gap then to lasting peace and Maestro stick next. Well inside the final furlong and it is Pong Po going to defy top weight for Ben Cohen and Eddie Lynham. Geological. Maestro stick and it's Pong Po just getting the upper hand from Geological on the far side. A gap then to lasting peace and Maestro stick next. Well inside the final furlong and it is Pong Po going to defy top weight for Ben Cohen and Eddie Lynham. Geological in third place, lasting peace. The stand side is Skontanovsky and then Fink River and Alfreda next with Fleetwood Soldier and she's local and it's Skontanovsky and Ronan Whelan coming to lead from Ferry Bank and the Bog Bank and Fink River and it's Skontanovsky driven out to win by less than two lengths from Ferry Bank. The stand side is Skontanovsky and then Fink River and Alfreda next with Fleetwood Soldier and she's local and it's Skontanovsky and Ronan Whelan coming to lead from Ferry Bank and the Bog Bank and Fink River and it's Skontanovsky driven out to win by less than two lengths from Ferry Bank. Fleetfoot Soldier made it interesting that third spot with the Bog Bank. And Longburn hits the front, racing inside the final furlong, followed by the stable companions, Kialak and Golden Twilight, San Andreas from off the pace, joins late, up towards the finish, it's Longburn and Kialak the near side, close to the line, Longburn, Kialak! And Longburn hits the front, racing inside the final furlong, followed by the stable companions, Kialak and Golden Twilight, San Andreas from off the pace, joins late, up towards the finish, it's Longburn and Kialak the near side, close to the line, Longburn, Kialak! It goes to the judge, they flash past together at the end of the Red God premiere, and then San Andreas.
Celtic Revival. And right out on the outside, it's French Company, produced by Dylan Brown McMoneagle to cut them all down. As they race inside the final furlong, it's French Company on the stand side. Into win. French Company, Vival. And right out on the outside, it's French Company, produced by Dylan Brown McMoneagle to cut them all down. As they race inside the final furlong, it's French Company on the stand side. Into win. French Company from Celtic Revival, Nevada Brave, followed in then by Curious Bride, Shining Age.